Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. It's, uh, I think it's the 9th of August. Uh, it's 5.58 and 58 degrees. Rained all day, yes, all day yesterday. It looks like he's stalking something. I haven't seen anything. Well, I did not get out to pick apples yesterday with the rain. Get a hair over there. I think we can sort. So I know I got out for two walks yesterday in the morning and around five o'clock in the evening. He took care of business at five o'clock, so I'm not sure if he'll uh, take care of business this morning. And we're out here now because it's going to uh, going to rain in a little while. Most of the morning, it looked like if I read the radar right. <clears throat> so, uh, I made two batches of buns. One batch had 12, and the other batch had 10. Batch 10 is more for sandwiches and hamburgers. They're slightly larger. The 12 we like to have uh, for breakfast. Then I made uh, a dozen blueberry muffins. 10 of those are frozen now. Two of them are for breakfast this morning. One for me, one for Rita. I've got uh, two bread starters. One is a rye bread, and the other is uh, Italian bread. Haven't made Italian bread in a little while. Sounds like they're harvesting somewhere. I guess you're just starting up at six o'clock. This guy, there's an apple on the ground there. So the, uh, both loaves of bread I'll make today are actually a double, double batch. The rye bread, I used to uh, make a small loaf, but for some reason I could never get it to rise properly. There would always be a low, wide loaf. And I would make a, a loaf for some friends. And when one of the times I was making it, and they, I was really disappointed in how they were just not rising, so I I put the two loaves together and let it rise again and it came out much better, much larger loaf. It was probably uh, four inches, four inches tall in the center. I don't know what he's seeing in there. So from that point on, I've been making just, uh, making two batches but combining it into a single loaf. And I found that <clears throat> the Italian bread recipe says you make the starter the night before. And uh, I'm not sure whether that imparts a uh, sour taste to it. But the, uh, the loaf comes out really crunchy on the outside. 
And that's why I can go full with the Italian bread, or the uh, rye bread. I want a crunchy crust. So I started making those tortillas for the Italian bread or the rye bread the night before also. Well, whatever that was that Flynn was smelling, he's, he's drooling. I don't know how often. I think dogs only go into heat twice a year. So I doubt the Rottweiler is down here again. You know, the road is probably mud. So when we go back in, I'll have my uh, I pour my coffee, but I think I'll read up on the recipes to see how much water I have to put in the the two loaves. If I have everything prepped, all I have to do is add water this morning. And then uh, mix them up. <coughs> the, uh, the rye, they say, you create a sponge and then mix it with the flour. And the uh, Italian bread, you make a starter and then mix it with flour. So, I'll combine the starters or a sponge with their respective uh, flour and water and see how long they have to rise before I bake those. So, with it raining today, that'll be the chore. Um, thinking about trying to make some soft pretzels and some hoagie rolls. <clears throat> uh, I think we've had about 1.2 inches of rain. I checked uh, the application. My brother is already on the road. It looked like he probably got out of the house around 5 o'clock. Which, if that was me driving, he'd put me up here at uh, 1 30. <clears throat> but he likes to stop. We'll probably stop and have breakfast someplace. So they'll probably get up here around four. When I uh, looked out the side door, it was raining. But uh, it appears we're in a lull right now. They put the radar in motion and you can see the clouds rolling in. So I might have just lucked out with Flynn. <clears throat> always concerns me when he's just focused down the road and he's not looking side to side or sniffing. You know what he's seeing down there. Oh, he sees a rock on the side of the road here. He's wondering what that rock is. Because he looks like he's focused on that. Nope.
There's that case of rain, the water falling up the trees from the rain earlier. There's a couple more apples on the ground here. What is that for? The, uh, the net over the hat makes it difficult to see in the low light. Then let's go back to the house. Good boy. Go, let's go. Oh. Well, with the drought, the road had been holding up pretty good. It was rain leads to potholes. There's very few on the hill here because the water runs off up and up by my driveway. They've already started. <clears throat> and if I was so inclined, I would fill the, uh, the bed of the John Deere Gator with some of the one inch minus gravel I've got and go fill in those holes. Because the, uh, the dampness might help him the gravel settle in, prevent, prevent the uh, potholes from getting bigger. You can see there's, there's clearly a trail there. Come back. Yep. I've got to hear a car coming. It could be my uh, my engineer just telling me queuing up a motor vehicle sound to say it's time for the traffic report. So with that said, no traffic this morning. No construction, no detours. <clears throat> and I can tell by the way Flynn's walking. He doesn't have to take care of business. He just wants to get home, have his treats. Today is Tuesday, so Rita's going to pack up her sewing equipment and head down to the uh, Sunville Club to spend uh, a couple hours with the girls sewing.
<coughs> the uh, gubernatorial election in Maine is approximately 90 days away. And uh, yesterday, Janet Mills took to Twitter to announce that uh, she signed into law a revenue sharing, or she restored revenue sharing, which, and she, I'm quoting her, voters have, been, have demanded for a long time. They used to have revenue sharing and somebody took it away. You can see the potholes starting there. At some point in time, revenue sharing was uh, stopped. But now, at 90 days left before the election, she, uh, she said that she's restored revenue sharing. Now, if, unless you're an idiot, you can see that uh, it's clearly a ploy to buy votes. The election coming up, people will remember, oh, she restored revenue sharing. We have to vote her in because she's for main citizens. Well, she's been mayor, she's been governor for how many years? And uh, now with 90 days left, she's going to restore revenue sharing. Yep. I'm going to have to look hard to see through that. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Clint. No, come on. Yesterday, the FBI raided Donald Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago. I haven't read too much about it. I was busy making bread and rolls and muffins yesterday. So I'll jump on the computer this morning and see what the details of that are. Come on, buddy. He's too far away. Glenn, come on, in the house. Oh, there's one right there. I missed him. You can hear the fellow buncher off to the east. Good jump. Glenn. <clears throat> oh, morning doves. So, August teeth. 23 days, 50, 54 days to bird hunting season. Still haven't checked how much 20 games you've got. But that's it for this morning. <clears throat> Thankfully, Flynn didn't get too wet, just had to dry his legs off. Thanks for watching.